G'day Ziggy D here and welcome to my teaser video for the upcoming patch 1.1.5 for Path of Exile. Thanks again to the crew at Grinding Gear Games for allowing me to make these videos. First up, patch 1.1.5 brings with it the long awaited and massively hyped Ball Lightning. Some of you may remember that Ball Lightning was accidentally added into the game in a massively overpowered state before it was promptly removed with no real word on if it had ever been returning. Well, it's back and GGG has put a lot of work into creating what looks to be a much more balanced but still very strong looking version of the skill. Ball Lightning is tagged as Lightning, Projectile, Spell and AoE. It features a slow moving projectile that strikes targets with bolts of lightning damage in an AoE around it. Lightning strikes once every 200 milliseconds and each target cannot be hit by a lightning strike more often than this. This means that multiple projectiles does not equal more damage to the same target. As an interesting side note, this change has also been applied to mobs in this patch, so GMP Piety is not as lethal as she has been in the past. The AoE tag on Ball Lightning means that you can use increased area of effect to increase the time that mobs spend getting struck by the lightning bolts. However, as the skill does not actually deal AoE damage, it instead deals bolts of lightning damage, things like concentrated effect will not work to increase its actual damage. I imagine that the most effective setups might use something like slower projectiles and increased AoE to maximise damage per target. Knockback also has some interesting potential as it pushes mobs along with the ball lightning, which may potentially increase the time uh, that mob spends taking damage. Patch 1.1.5 also includes another long desired addition to the game, the Spell Echo support gem. When linked with a spell, Echo causes that spell to be cast twice with a large multiplier to cast speed. Essentially, it's multi-strike for spells. A level 1 Echo support gives 50% more cast speed to the linked spell. I tested it with Stormcall and was able to get over 4.1 cast per seconds with just faster casting and Echo on a character with very little other cast speed increases. When I asked Rory about the design of Echo, he said, Spells have very few multiplicative damage boosts, so I think it'll be even more impactful than Multi-Strike was when it was first introduced. It doesn't have as high a damage boost, but it is cheaper as a consequence. Patch 1.1.5 also brings with it two new Vial skill gems, Vile Lightning Trap and Vile Righteous Fire. Vile Lightning Trap functions very similarly to its regular counterpart, but its projectiles also spread the shocked ground effect. As it's a Vial Trap, it stores up to three charges that you can use one at a time. I spoke to Rory in a fair bit of detail about the two new Vile skills, and in regards to Vile Lightning Trap he said that it's much less visually impressive than Vile Righteous Fire, but it has the special function of being the only way in the game to generate shocked ground, which is alongside elemental proliferation as being the only reliable way to shock bosses. It's very much an end game player oriented skill, however it also doubles as the only trap Vile skill uh, that a leveling character can actually use. Vile Righteous Fire instantly consumes all of your life and energy shield and deals a proportionate amount of damage to enemies around you. It's an obviously risky but big finishing move type skill that really seems to capture the theme of sacrifice well. Rory mentioned that they've not yet actually made a viable build with it, though he suggests that some sort of insta-leech build could work. In regards to the interesting design of this skill, Rory said that the design of Vile Righteous Fire was that of what would Righteous Fire do? It's one of those sort of quirky designs that doesn't really help current builds, but potentially opens doors for new ones. This patch also adds to the game four new uniques, three of which are designed by Diamond supporters. The other is Pledge of Hands, Judgment Staff. This staff features the mod Gems in this item are supported by a level 30 spell Echo. This effectively gives the supported spell 79% more cast speed. The staff also features a large spell damage modifier and a huge maximum mana boost. The unique art is actually based on an old supporter unique sketch that the developers like so much that they made an item out of it. The star features two ruined hands which Rory says suit the theme of casting twice nicely. In addition to the new uniques, the art for many unique shields has been updated including Safel's frame which now has an ethereal look to it that reflects the 2D art. I also highly recommend watching where you step in this patch as Jaws of Agony has received a new drop animation. This patch features a rebalance to Ethereal Knives that sees its damage, mana cost and cast time all reduced by 20%. Raging Spirits has its damage increased significantly with it dealing two thirds more damage at gem level 20. In patch 1.1.5 we also get several new awesome looking microtransactions. The Ghost Flame Skull, Weapon Effect and Footprints bathe you in a ghostly green flames that would terrify Captain Fairgraves himself. And for those of you who like to arrive and depart in style, what better way is there than to literally tear apart the fabric of space and time 
with the destructive new black hole portal effect. It may not be the safest way to travel, but damn is it impressive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this patch teaser, make sure to hit that subscribe button to catch future teasers. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.